My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. Support the site through the Amazon links and the donate button at counterpropa. And there's a petition below. Share the petition to get the DNC to give their computer servers to the FBI. The FBI requested DNC computer servers. The DNC refused their request. The petition is now 4,000 signatures. Very happy. Let's get it to 10,000 by next week. Trump is, if you look at his Twitter, so President Trump refuses to accept the Russian hacking myth. That's not supporting Trump. Simply, simply saying that he's doing the right thing and not supporting it and fighting back, that's actually a very good thing because the Democratic Party isn't standing for breaking up too big to fill banks, reinstating Glass-Steagall, pushing for single payer, free college tuition, ending perpetual counterinsurgency wars, all the things that Bernie Sanders stood for. They're not standing for that, which is why they lost. They're pushing a very failed, they're pushing an already failed narrative. The FBI investigated Donald Trump already. We already knew they were investigating Donald Trump from the New York Times. In fact, the title is Investigating Donald Trump, FBI Sees No Clear Link to Russia. That was in late October in the New York Times. But I'm going to read you some very funny, I find it amusing and the rest of the media, liberal media, you could say, the media that I'm a part of, even though they're liberal, but they're not progressive, and who knows what progressive means anymore. If you're progressive and you voted for Hillary Clinton, and then you got Trump, what does that make you? I don't know. So I don't know what that word means. By the way, I had a fantastic no sellout segment with Tim Black. Subscribe to my friend, my good friend, Tim Black. Amazing powerful voice and we had an amazing no sellouts this evening but i'm just going to read you okay james clapper and others stated that there is no evidence potus colluded with russia this story is fake news and everyone knows it <laughs> so you see this is it's just amusing to me so he's using the media media talking points against the media which is hilarious that when people at the Washington Post or other publications think they've gotten, they have something on Trump because of his tweets, even the wiretap tweet, he twisted that the way Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton have twisted things their whole lives to mean spying. But it's true, James Clapper couldn't find evidence. Then he goes, the real story that Congress, the FBI and all others should be looking into is the leaking of classified information. Must find leaker now. <laughs> Must find leaker now, exclamation point. It's genius in a way. You have to understand that, he, that, that he's, he's playing the media just like the Democratic Party is playing progressives. You have to get that. If you don't get that and you say, AJ, why are you uh, publicizing Trump's tweets? And, no, no, no. You need to understand what's going on and I'm just and, and, and find some amusement in it. Even if you say, well, people are suffering. Well, then you shouldn't have cheated Bernie. So what, what, what can I tell you? Um, the real story that Congress, the FBI, and all others should be looking into is the, is, is, leaking, is the leaking of classified information must find leaker now. So he twisted it, or he it's like a, you know, a wrestling move. Just heard fake news CNN. <laughs> He's Just heard fake news CNN is doing polls again, despite the fact that their election polls were way off disaster. <laughs> we're a way off disaster much higher ratings at Fox <laughs> and then he might be watching my channel whatever what what about all the contact with the, with the Clinton campaign and the Russians also is it true the N the DNC would not look would not let the FBI in to look okay the DNC would not let the FBI in to look that's why I have the petition below please share it 26 million followers, Donald J. Trump. Okay, why did I, why did I read, why did I read his tweets? Because even when I read it, it's almost like a president would never communicate that way, but that's how he won. 
because a politician wouldn't communicate that way. And he is. That's one of the reasons he won. And that's one of the reasons the Democrats won't win. Get it? You don't get it. I'll say it another way. If you are a progressive and you're upset that Trump is doing everything that I don't like, a lot of things that I don't like, I don't like the budget cuts, I don't like definitely against sending Americans back to the Middle East, furthering Obama and Bush's policies, definitely against that. Against a lot of things, the, the immigrant ban, all those things. But why is it that he won? Why is it that Republicans have the, uh, Congress and the White House? It's because people on the left don't understand the power or the communication style and how it resonates with millions and millions and millions of people, not just the people on the right. Because I can find amusement in this and I see what he's doing in some ways, fighting back against the deep state, CIA, NSA, all that stuff is justified. Because the Russian hacking narrative is the new McCarthy era, and I don't want a new McCarthy era. Nuclear war, potentially, is a far bigger issue than anything going on right now. And if you push the Russian hacking narrative to its logical conclusion, Senator, uh, there are people in Congress already stating that it's an act of war. Without evidence, nothing presented today was evidence. It was all circumstantial. Uh, we think all this, no comment, all this stuff. And WikiLeaks, there's no link between WikiLeaks and Russia. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.